Hello everyone and welcome to Homestead for a Living. As you can see, these goats are grazing in our driveway right now and this is what they are grazing on. Acorns, a wonderful protein source. And if you were to Google this, it would say these are deadly poisonous for goats. In fact, they would say that that oak tree is deadly poisonous for goats. Um, in fact, they would say probably most of what those goats eat is deadly poisonous. Um, surprise, surprise, you actually cannot quite trust Google, particularly with um, agricultural related stuff. I don't know if it's because they do some test on something and just feed it a ridiculous amount of something and then it gets poisoned, but any animal, if it has plentiful access to a wide range of foods, it's not going to eat too much of the one that's bad for it. It's going to eat just as much as it needs. Because often there's a fine line between poisonous and medicinal, and they, they know by taste what they need and what they want. I have let them have all sorts of things that are poisonous if you google them like black cherry for example is supposed to be deadly poisonous but there's a black cherry in there there's a black cherry tree in their pasture um, and they take what they want and they don't eat too much um, so i would i would not follow that too religiously um, i kind of have a policy that my goats and my chickens get access to everything that grows here and if anything here actually poisoned them well then i don't really want those genetics in my livestock anyway um, because they are clearly not capable of free ranging. I want my animals to be able to free range on a diverse diet. But so far, I haven't ha experienced any deaths or any uh, sickness or anything. Um, so I would kind of just make a note of feel free to disregard what the internet says your animals can and cannot eat. Not to say you should disregard all advice, um, but then again, that's kind of what I do when it comes to feeding them. Um, and so far, it's worked out really good and they're very healthy as well. Um, I don't ever take these goats to the vet. They have not had any kinds of shots of anything. Um, and the same with my chickens as well. Um, just like us, they shouldn't be eating just grain and sugar. Um, that's why we're sick as a society, because we just eat grain and sugar largely. And that's often why animals need so much maintenance and care and so many shots and things like that and get so many diseases, is because they are not healthy. They're not eating a diverse diet. So, let those animals out. Let them graze on everything. Um, don't trust Google all that much about what your animals can and can't eat. Um, and just start to really think broadly, how can I make my pasture so much larger than just grass, much bigger than that, and much more diverse than that? What trees can I incorporate? Can I incorporate silva pasture and trees like oaks and poplar and mulberry? Can I coppice them so they're at the goat's height and come back with a bunch of spring shoots that are uh, edible for them? Can I incorporate nut trees? If, if they can get into this nut without any processing from me, then they're taking a huge amount of protein off of this gigantic 50-year-old tree here. Um, and getting a huge amount of value from what is just a forest setting without really needing any grass. As you can see, this is what they're what they're grazing on, gravel. And it's even making use of my driveway and my animal system. So just encouraging encouragement to get out there and try some unorthodox things with your animals and let them graze freely and let them graze diversely. And it's probably good advice for us as well. <laughs> Eat as much as you can of the widest variety of foods that you can. That's a key to health, key to keeping things simple on a farm as well. Hopefully that's helpful. If you want tips about uh, getting a pasture built for animals that's available in our new book we wrote with uh, Billy Bond over at Perma Pastures called Scrapsteading. It's up at scrapsteading.com. And I'm gonna go before this goat eats me.